Hello everyone, welcome to the Viper Guide. Today we're going to start a, let's say, a set of Viper Guides for solo queue. Remember, this is a guide for solo queue. It's not designed to be played in a competitive team, but you can still use stuff from here if you play competitive. Now, my goal as a Viper is to play like a Sentinel. I'm not a controller, I'm not a smoker. Whenever I play Viper in a lobby, I try to convince other people in my team to actually play a smoker. Special on maps like Ascent, special on maps like Bind, Haven, like all of those maps require a primary, primary smoker. Viper is a lurker and she's conditioning the team for specific walls that require specific answers from the team. This is why you cannot be a flexible smoker. All right. Well, we're going to start with Ascent. Uh, first, we're going to do defensive setups. Like, I'm going to show you one setup that is 100% the best possible defense setup. And we're probably going to use every single round the same, apart from the rounds where I have the ultimate. So first, what are you going to do? This is Remember, this is my own playstyle. It might not correlate with what you want to do. We're going to do a wall from A short towards B long. The goal of this is to basically control globally uh, map control. Well, that's eh, control, map control, whatever. But it, it, the goal is you want to have pr global presence over the map. So we're going to set up a wall that go goes like this through A short, through mid, and then cuts over the entrance of B main. So if you, there's a difference if you aim higher or lower because... The first bullet from, uh, from, or the first projectile from the wall actually goes over and it's like a bombing um, jet that drops the, the, the small things on the ground that uh, then pops the wall, right? So always do it a little bit higher than like this, an example, because this might not be good enough. All right, so we're going to do the wall. You don't have to be super precise, right? Is you want to do a smoke. You have two lineups for that. So you have 100% accuracy with this. First one. The goal is to throw a smoke over here once the barrier drops. And you can do that by using your triangle from the right click smoke. And you can see here there's a very faint triangle that you need to align with this tile. It doesn't have to be super precise, just like somewhere like this. And then you're going to throw it. The second lineup for that, you align the generator with the, with the entrance of the site like this. And then you aim on this, uh, whatever this is, this clock, whatever, you aim at this spot here. And you throw once the barrier drops. So once uh, the barrier drops, you throw it, and it lands in this spot. And it's the same lineup for this. So you do the triangle on the ceramic tile, and you throw it here. And this setup, this is the best possible one you can do for defense on Ascent. So the goal is, you have now global presence. Every single angle that your opponents can attack is being taken over by the Viper utility. So they cannot really push. And the goal of the smoke is... And this is something that you can find in my guides for smoke, right? It needs to end with the doorway. So it creates basically a wall. And whenever someone pushes... He, ca he has to commit fully, and he has no idea where the opponent is because he needs to check all the angles. Nothing is isolated, right? So basically, this is the best possible way of playing the Viper on defense. Remember, though, that this wall has a gap here. I always inform my teammates uh, when playing solo queue that there's a small gap here. You can actually play to your strengths here, because if you know that, you can wait for your opponent to peek because they're not expecting this. They don't know this, right? And then... On B, how it looks, you have a wall like this. So you can play anti-flash in this position as well. If your opponent has a sky, you can hide behind this when the wall is popped. There's a sky flash going here, and you hide behind the wall, and you peek after the wall uh, you know, goes down, or you just peek through it. You don't get damage, right? And people will not rush through this because they don't want to get the minus 50 uh, minus 50 HP for the DK. This is a setup that I do every single round on defense for solo queue, and then I just play A, uh, because I, f I just feel like it's so strong. But once I got the ultimate, I'm doing something completely different. So basically, what I'm trying to achieve is I'm gonna set up a wall that helps A short mid, right? 
and a little bit of a lobby it's a little bit awkward like this wall is not maybe the best but it's okay like you can do it uh you can do it from here like this and it also spots uh mid to some degree right so do a wall like this whenever you have the ultimate so it goes over here over mid also on short and then it makes it really awkward for people to push uh, through this spot here. Now, why I'm doing this? Because I'm doing a setup uh, with my ult on B. And the goal is to play it solo. I do a one-way on the market. Like this. And then I want to use the ult. I inform all of my teammates in solo queue that I'm going to be defending B solo. So people have to commit to fighting in mid, um, on site, and A short. This is all they have to do. I'm playing solo here. I'm going to close the doors as well, right? And someone just has to be mid, and rest can be on, on short. And this is basically the best possible way of doing this setup in solo queue. So how do you do this? The round starts. You have already the ult prepared. You peek, right? Then you ult. You instantly go for a snake bite, so no one is pushing you. And then you go, can go back and toggle the door. Remember, the toggle only works after 5 seconds of the beginning of the round. And this way, you have everything covered. You help your teammates on A short and mid. And also a little bit on A lobby, right? You cover the entire B main because no one will push for this. They are all 1 HP, right? And you have the one way on market after they destroy the doors. So you have a lot of angles. And basically, when they destroy the doors... And when you know they're gonna push market, you can use a snake bite to avoid being pushed through the through um through the ultimate. And after this one way goes on, you just peek like this, and you have easy kills. No one will push that. Or you can just use a a snake bite here as well. Depends on the situation, right? If you're certain no one is pushing you for the ultimate. Remember, when the round ends, or you know the round will gonna end, you can always turn off your ultimate and take the orb. So you have one out of seven. Also, whenever you have a situation where uh, you're gonna have, like, you you win already the round, but your ultimate is, is on, turn it off, just in case you get an exit kill, or you die. Then you get the one orb more. Alright, so th those are, like, the two best possible setups on Ascend when it comes to solo queue. I rarely use anything different, uh, but there are options. There are other options that you can do. You can do a one-way on entrance here. Doesn't require any lineup. Here we go. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. You can do it first try. And now you have a one way. When you stand over here, you have also an elevated uh, level here. Um, so you can just hold this and no one sees you. You have easy kills if they have to push. I'm not a biggest fan of, of using this because it's, uh, you know, there are better setups for solo queue. Uh, you can also use a one way here on the lamp. Or on this wall in general, like this. Doesn't matter where exactly. This one is actually pretty good because, you know, if they push you, you have a one way for this. And they it still deals damage. And then on short, there's also a very one specific one way. That helps you a lot. You go align with this, um, with this line here. Between the tiles. You go forward. Then you aim at the line of the lamp, like this, and you jump right click. It's it's an you know it's a jump throw, so it's a little bit inconsistent. You have to like uh, train in a little bit. First try, right? Like this, and then you have a good one way to hold a short. But in general, you don't want to use this. Uh, because the wall is just more powerful, and then you stop the entire entire push with you to have like your toxin cloud here, right? Now, when it comes to defensive lineups for uh, for the snake bite, there are few few that I use most often because typically you use your snake bite to just hold a push, you know, with your smoke. Uh, I typically use a snake bite here and snake bite here whenever I have like a information that they might actually push or or, or I want to slow down a push. I don't leave them 
typically to like get a kill when someone is planting and that's it's not really consistent uh but there are a few ones that you can use when whenever something else is happening so an example when they're pushing uh b and your teammate is like oh there's a lot of in uh, b lobby here. so then you pop up the wall right you pop up the wall that you have set up uh from the best defensive setup right so the wall just cuts off b main and then you stand in this corner you aim hello you aim at this triangle here on th on the tip of it pick up your snake bite and this is something that you should practice a little bit it's a jump throw i hate jump throws they're super inconsistent but in this case there's no other option so you do this so if they're already on site you can delay the plant by a lot if you do if you just do this and people cannot plan default and the second one is if you're certain that they're not yet on site and they don't want to go through your wall you're gonna use a lineup for uh holding b main and this is a good combination with the wall it requires a little bit of patience and game sense when it comes to knowing where do you want to use the snake bite so you line up in this spot your crosser from the left click as you can see here there's a crosser so you put it here like this in this spot no jump just normal left click and this lands in front of garage and this stops an entire push you can time this with your wall so whenever your wall is like running out of fuel you time your snake bite and they cannot push b again it's super helpful we actually use this uh, a lot in solo queue but it requires good communication from your teammate on b from the same position in case they breached A, you can do a snake bite to stop them from planting, which is something like this. And you have to do a forward, um, forward throw. So you do, you press your forward key, and then you shoot. And you aim in like the middle of this empty space here, like this. And it lands on the default spot, so it stops the plan for a second. And this is very, like, this is very fast. So you don't have to worry that someone will dodge this, right? You're most likely gonna just disrupt the plant. Forward and press M M1. And that's about it. There's also an option uh, to have a defensive snake bite in case you're in um, sending CT on B and you know they're on site and you know that no one is on stairs, then you can use this lineup. This is also a good post-plant lineup. You aim... On this spot here, like in this place, you hold it to the wall, right? So you go to the corner, you do a right right step till you see like this spot here, and just left click. And it goes for the default. The same you can do from market. You stand on the trash here in the corner, like this. And then you aim where the roof goes together with the cable like this and it lands on the default as well another one is if you're standing in the garage you just go left till you see this tree and you aim a little bit above the tree i think yeah and it lands on default as well. 